All right, so in this video, I'm going to walk you through download and install of the Graft Windows based wallet. All right, guys, so this is a quick, fast, and easy one. And like in all of my other videos, I'm going to go slow, but I am going to edit all of the space in between me talking and the downloads out so this video goes rather quickly. And don't worry, I'm going to go ahead and put all of the links that we use today in the description below. So just look below this video and you'll find all of these direct links. All you need to do is click on them after you watch the video and it will take you right to what you're seeing right now on my screen. All right, so as you can see, We've already got uh, Android, Windows, Linux, and a Mac-based wallet. Now, the wallet that we're going to be downloading and working with today is a beta version. In my experience, I haven't seen any issues with it yet, but uh, your experience or your mileage may vary. All right, so this download page, it actually has a good amount of information on it. Uh, different applications that they have the crypto find that's a neat little application uh, and their POS the point of sale all right so for this window we're gonna do Windows x86 x64 graft wallet beta and I'm gonna click on that guy that's gonna go ahead and download all right now that it's done downloading we're gonna go to our downloads folder and we're going to see the application here. All right. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen off. Minimize that. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on Graft Wallet. Might get a uh, user pop up, uh, user account control settings pop up. It's OK. Just click through it. As you can see, welcome to Graft Wallet Setup. Hit Next. Here is the end user license agreement. You can read through that at your own leisure hit I agree and then we're gonna have we're gonna actually look for a place that we want to send these files so for this we're simply gonna put it on the desktop now I don't recommend doing this but for this example and I'll get to why in just a moment but for this example we're gonna go ahead and place it on the desktop just because we're making a YouTube video hit OK so we're going to go to desktop and next and I don't want to create shortcuts so I'm just going to click do not create shortcuts your installation your mileage may vary again so install and this is going to take just a moment all right now that it's done click next and I want to go ahead and start the graph wallet, but I do not want to create a desktop shortcut. I'm going to click finish. And as you can see, it brings up the end user license agreement. Read through this, click accept. And we're going to be on the main net, main net, not public test net and not public RTA test net. So you want to make sure that main net is checked hit confirm alright so next step we need to create a really strong password don't put uh, anything very easy to figure out don't use any personal information or anything like that so what we want to do is find a random generator uh, random password generator website uh, I picked out LastPass for this example again I'll leave the link below in the description do yourself a favor Make this very, very difficult, not easy to say, not easy to read, and use uppercase, lowercase numbers and symbols. And I prefer a very strong password. 26 to 30 characters is uh, a good starting point. All right. So for this example, we're going to use 30 characters. What you're going to want to do is hit copy and just tell them no thank you right now and go ahead and minimize that and then click in the space here and hit control V as in Victor control V click down here 
Control V. Now, you're going to want to copy and paste that to a notepad or write that down. Obviously, with 30 characters, that's going to be rather difficult to remember and difficult to write down every time. So this comes to my second part. In some of my other videos, I've explained that I use an encrypted thumb drive or you can use an encrypted hard drive, an external hard drive that you plug into your computer. I keep all of this information offline. I also, for the sake of if my computer is infected with some kind of a keylogger or something like that, I never type in the password. I always copy and paste. Now, obviously, there's uh, ways to steal that information as well, but the old key loggers, um, there's plenty of them out there and they still are used from time to time in certain exploits. So when I say exploits, I mean people trying to get your information, which you do not want them to get. All right. So now that I have uh, put the password in strong password, I've wrote it down and or I have uh, put it in a notepad file that I'm not going to keep on the same computer. I'm going to go ahead and hit create new wallet. All right, so this is your monomic phrase. Basically, it's 25 random words. Again, you want to copy this down or, you know, at least write it down somewhere that's going to be safe. Generally, the same place you put the password. If you want to be super secure, you can keep them both in separate locations. Now, because I am showing you this, this wallet that I have created, I will never put any coins into. It's very important, and I want to be very clear. Do not show your passphrase words here to anyone do not show them your password. Because I've shown you both of those, it essentially renders this wallet useless. Because if you have that information, you can restore a wallet. Um, when you set this up, it asks, actually asks if you want to restore a wallet. So if I had those 25 words and that password, I could go ahead and restore the wallet. All right. So moving on, I've copy, uh, copy it to clipboard. And then I saved it. Click I saved it. And there you go. Graft wallet version 1.8.0. Now, as you can see, main balance or uh, main balance locked and main balance unlocked. Main balance unlocked uh, is the coins that are available to you. Main balance locked means uh, if you see uh, coins in there, and the numbers different are different from the main balance unlocked, then the locked means that there hasn't been any confirmations or enough confirmations, um, or there hasn't been enough blocks yet uh, to confirm that uh, balance into your wallet. After enough time, after the blockchain has progressed enough, those locked will move into the unlocked uh, slot there okay so just to just to get rid of any confusion now this is your address that you can send to and you can make transactions uh, you can mine to this address this is your wallet address again you can copy that to the keyboard uh, clipboard excuse me and you can save that to that uh, very super safe file that you're gonna make all right, guys, that's it. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, and share this video out. Um, remember, sharing is caring. Talk to you next time.